Welcome back to Plug and Play V. We are here in Moab, Utah, just a little bit south of Arches National Park, getting ready to charge up and head up into the park. But this one, we'll take a quick look at the new Rocky Mountain Power Site, midway between Arches and Moab, at the Lions Trailhead here, and a unique site right at the gate of Arches National Park with a lot of trailheads nearby. Let's get into charging at the Rocky Mountain Power Site in Moab, Utah. Charger 5, 40 cents a kilowatt hour, regular person, pretty reasonable. Quick slide, and that signal should get me what I need. Very good. So these are BTC power, next gen units. Let them pull through space. Off here, I think these are the two that are off limits. That one, number six, is good. These two are not. Let's see what we get in terms of power, starting at 26%, 14 minutes to 80%, so that seems to be giving full whack. Let's take a look around the site and see what's going on. Okay, so as I say, charges. Five and six, operational, pull in, this one's a bit blocked, but should work still, you could move that cone a little bit. Uh, seven and eight, this is the back install, although it's pretty big, could potentially be used for a small trailer. And then the big main pull through, right there, still being worked on, but uh, has a pull through sign, so hopefully people respect that and get the right one. That's uh, a side on one over there. So there's catering to all kinds of different uh, port positions here, and the spaces are pretty big. Um, those are charges one to four. Obviously the maintenance van is blocking number one at the moment, and uh, got a little bit of work going on, but you could use two, three, four, five, and six. Better look through the rest of the site, because we're already at coming up on 60%. And uh, 27 quarter hours delivered in seven minutes. I guess there's a session fee. You can see the hiking trails over there. So there's a lot here. Got a picnic table, nice view, shelter over here. Obviously, this is all for the trailhead, so it's not specifically charging, but really nice to have all the facilities. Not sure if this is 24 seven or not. 10 p.m. curfew for the city parks. I don't know if they change all this stuff, but for most of the day, hopefully you'd get the ability to use the facilities. Gives you some local details. So if you're charging up, you can find your favorite spots. So this is great. Locals can get a charge. Drinking fountain. Really pleasant kind of amphitheater and shelter over there. Rocks for kids to climb on, appropriately enough. And I'm sure the trails around here are very nice, but uh, I want to get onto Arches and then head on to Colorado, so. You can see the signs over there, I-70, 29 miles, price where I came from last night, 118 miles, and Green River, 54 miles, that's the next EA station. Amenities, maybe not anything you could buy unless they have food trucks and stuff that comes out here, but uh, certainly you can get your restroom, water, refill, and stretch your legs. Okay, so pushing on nicely here. Uh, it has been slightly lower than uh, the full power you might expect, but it's uh, not really a big deal. 155 kilowatts is perfectly acceptable at this state of charge. As I say, we've got some of the chargers uh, waiting work. No problem, given the uh, 
number of chargers here. Would be nice to have that pull through stall open in summer because I'm sure there's plenty of Rivians and Cybertrucks and Ford F-150 Lightnings dragging their campers or trailers along. A nice and new, we've got a pretty good rate of 40 cents per kilowatt hour. Uh, although it does have a session fee as well, which you never really like to see. But that's easier to swallow at uh, 40 cents rather than 50 or 60, as we've seen at other places. It's just a, a nice place. It's a shame it's all cordoned off in places so you can't get the full run through, but you can kind of take, use your imagination, uh, cast away some of these caution tapes and uh, see what a nice site it would be to serve a bunch of different EVs flowing through with different needs, different port positions. We're gonna have to head on pretty soon here to get the early jaunt into Arches. It's eight o'clock in the morning, so it should be fairly light, I'm hoping, compared to peak in the daytime. All right, so I'm messing around. Killed that 21 minutes again pretty easy. And stop it up. Only recording the session fee at the moment. Let's see if that changes when we unplug here. See if this thing can connect to the mothership or not. Nice uh, quick charging stop. Wish you could have more time to go and see the trails around here. I'm sure they're really nice. It would be a very good hike and charge, but the charge is too quick and the attraction of arches and the other parks and driving trails around here too great. So 